morning, everyone, and welcome to Funfold Friday Facebook Live. Try saying that 10 times. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. How's everybody doing today? It's Friday, so if you're working, it's always a good day, unless you have to work on Saturdays. Let me just grab my glasses, jump on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Please share my videos. The more people that watch, the more videos I can do. So, I have a couple of things to go over. And one of, uh, so let's start with that, okay? Um, you're going to see my August online class. Hi, Meg. Hi, Maureen. Right on time. <laughs> My August class, online class, is with using the Love of Leaves. So if you're interested in my online class, you do need to sign up and pay by August 10th. So I can get that out by the 20th. I chose this set because not only is it great for the fall, but if you can see those uh, sentiments, it's great for every day. So don't forget to check that out, okay? And it just fell on the floor. The next thing I want to go over is my online retreat. You have till September 30th to sign up for that and pay for that one. And with that, I just want to show you, I've been putting it in the description, but I have a, had a couple questions. That price includes two bundles. This bundle, okay, and that is in the uh, new mini holiday catalog, and also this bundle. Okay, so with that... Uh, price of the online retreat, you do get these two bundles plus uh, 10 to 12 projects to do, a video, and a couple of uh, some swag, a swag bag with some goodies in it. But you do need to sign up by and pay by September 30th. The earlier, the better. Okay. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Janelle. Hi, hey, Joyce. Hey, Ange. Okay, so we're going to get started, and I'm so excited to be here today because I get to open the catalog and actually show you the picture of what I'm using. Okay, I'll give you a little hint. I wore this shirt, see this little black glitter, just for this video. <laughs> so let's get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. I better drink it. If you're looking behind me, you'll see some of these stands. These are the cards that I was supposed to do with my first in-line or in-home class since the pandemic, and it got canceled because we lost power. We had a bad storm here, so we're trying again next Tuesday. Let's get started. Okay, again, rosewardstampersdelight.com. If you want to order from me, go to this um, my blog or website. If you have any trouble because we are using a new system, let me know. I had to change my host code for the month because there was some issues with that. I think that's now fixed, so excuse the writing. Um, also, if you have any issues with the, when you're trying to log in and order, before you check out, make sure that I am showing as your demonstrator. If not, please just call me, text me, and we can, I can walk you through it, okay? All right. So let's move this out of the way. Okay, so let's bring in my catalog. And what I'm focusing on today is Magic in the Night. Love this suite. And of course you have all of these goodies when you buy the suite, the paper, the embossing folder, these great little iridescent pearls, and the black glitter. That's why I wore my black glitter shirt. Love, love, the, love this ribbon. I just ordered extra, and I'll show you why in a minute. So, some people might be thinking, well, I don't do a lot of Halloween. You know, you might need one or two cards. Maybe you don't even get trick-or-treaters, like I don't up here, but I do go down in the village, and I watch all the trick-or-treaters. So, I'm going to show you a couple of other things you can do with this. Okay? Thanks, Patricia. Yes, definitely share my video. Also, I forgot to mention, don't forget, I do have one of these mini paper trimmers to give away to the order that puts me over my 400,000 career sales. And I am this close. <clears throat> I don't know why I always have to cough once I get on live. So we're going to use Magic in the Night tonight. Today. It's not night. It's morning here. All right, so first thing I want to show you is, okay, you don't do Halloween. So let's see what else you can do with this. I have 
a wedding coming up, although they haven't set a date. But my, you've heard me talk about my kids, and they come home for Christmas, so I have, I'm going to do a bridal shower this Christmas, even though they haven't set a date yet, but I have to do things when they come home. So what I used, and they love, she loves spiders, okay, she does have a, or bats, she had not spiders, she has a bat tattoo. So I looked at this set, as soon as I looked at this set, I knew I needed this for bridal showers, maybe even wedding invitations. So here's my first one. So these are these great layering dies, and I should have showed you that. I'm just so excited to show you everything. So with that sweet up close and personal, there's the 3D embossing folder. Great dies, if, if for no other reason you want these labeling dies. They're absolutely great. Yes, they're great for kids too. This is a great kid set. And then of course, when I saw this, I saw the label and I saw this and I thought invitations. So there's a lot you can do with this. Okay, so back to the sample. So this is the first invitation I came up with. She's not really a bling or glitter person, but I just love this black glitter paper. And look at this ribbon. So easy to tie. And then there is magic in, in this night. I thought that's really something great for a wedding, right? And for this, I also used... Last a Lifetime, or So Inviting, rather. The So Inviting set that's in the annual catalog. Okay, so don't overlook things that are in the annual catalog and pair them up. So that was my first invitation. Oh, thank you, Monica. Then I thought about it, and I said, wait a minute. These have a little purple color to it, and that's the... Um, colors that I'm using for the bridal shower, black and purple, because those are two of her favorite colors. So I changed it up, still using the same envelope, the smaller roses, and I made it in purple. And I really like the way this one came out because it just pops more. This one's nice, maybe for a wedding invitation. Okay, elegant. But this one I think is better because for the uh, shower because it's the colors of the shower that I'm doing and if she sees this it's okay it's not a surprise I can't surprise them when they're gonna be here okay no they're not getting married at Halloween although they always said they would so Selena's bridal shower in December although they still might they haven't picked a date so they may get married in Halloween they always said they wanted to but we just don't know yet um, you know waiting with the pandemic things to clear up and then they'll decide love the purple one Shirley yeah me too so this is the shower invitation so don't just think Halloween for that stamp set think outside the box so let's look at a couple more samples before I get going I don't I like to show you samples because I like I'm the kind of person that I want to see how much or what I can use the stamp set for rather than just one set or one one card so here's the uh, Cajun craze with the flowers and the spiders and again that's the smaller label and you can layer anything on top of that with the trick-or-treat this is our glit black glitter ribbon in the annual catalog looks like my shirt really okay and then of course these are all the little bats from one of the dies and this one is a tent fold happy Halloween so think invitations for Halloween parties. I think there's going to be a lot of kids in home parties this year. The next one I did was again, went back with the gray and I forgot uh, the purple is the gorgeous grape. This is smoky slate and the black, of course, and you can't see it, but I did use that embossing folder back here. So here's another one with the bats and the glitter. And I actually embossed the inside. Now, if you're going to emboss the inside, you want to stamp first and then emboss it. Okay, and this is the smoky slate. Ah, Vicky's using her mug too, her magic mug. So that's another one. Okay, so 
The next thing I want to show you is I used it, I paired it up with the Still Seasons, the Globe set, which we loved last year, and it's back this year. So let's see what I did with that one. I did a shaker card. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but inside there are those little bats in the black glitter. I took the designer series paper, used the die cut and cut that piece out, put the globe in there, and then backed, put that paper back in there. Okay? And again, this is the um, still scenes. I'll put all the numbers in the description. And I used the black and silver, uh, the black glitter paper. And silver, I had that left over, so I just used that. You can use uh, silver foil would work. Okay, so if you want to know how to make a um, shaker card, I have videos already out there on that. Just go to Stampers Delight, all one word on YouTube, and type in um, shaker card. And this right here, I want to show you something cool with that. Okay, this is actually this label die right here. Cut. I, I did a whole piece, but then I just cut the piece that I needed. So I got another little piece out of it. Okay, so that's the shaker card. Also inside are those um, sequins that are in the holiday catalog for the, they actually have little snowflakes and little silver circles and stuff. So there's the, you're in love, you're in love and you're not a fan of Halloween. Well, my job is done, Denise. Now for this, for the envelope, what I used is I also used, this goes so nice with this set, the festive corners. You got all those corners trick-or-treat happy Halloween and the spider and the spider web okay so I did use those too this one I used it on the corner here and on the back to make the matching envelope okay how are we doing so far you excited okay so let's look at a little 3d project and I'm gonna have to flip the camera this is just a little it's not a real candle you can see it's one of those Dollar Tree ones but I made whoop did it the wrong way I made just a little candle using the paper the other die you can see that die back here and I just put bats and spiders in the glitter paper all the way around and just made a cute little decoration okay let me flip the camera back so again this is my little candle I'll probably send this to Selena because even after Halloween, she can take that off and put it in her bat room. And then if you do get trick-or-treaters, who doesn't like a full-size candy bar? I know my husband's aunt. We miss her. No matter what, up until she passed away, never gave out little candy. She always bought boxes and boxes of full-size candy bars. So this is a candy bar. Let's just unravel it so I can show you. Well, it's in there. It's a Dove chocolate. I asked my husband to buy a chocolate bar for me, and he bought me dark chocolate Dove chocolate. So you know that's going to be eaten tonight. And then I just wrapped some designer series paper, the spiders around it. Label, used the two label dies in Blackberry Bliss, because that's what this is. And this is Highland Heather. And I did them both with the embossing folder. You can see that. And then one of our other labels I used for trick or treat. Okay, you don't have a Dollar Tree in France? I'm sure they have those um, fake candles everywhere else and online. Okay, so there's a nice little trick or treat. So those are all the samples I had. I hope you enjoyed them. Now let's get to some stamping. So here is my fun fold card for today, and it's. Um, Fold, what a what pop up. I forgot the name of it, but I'll I'll put that in the description. So this is the card, and you can see I used the spider web and the trick or treat from the festive corners, and paired that up with the um, spiders from the Hallow's Night Magic. All right, and I'm going to show you how to make this one. It's called a back flap pop-up card, something like that. Okay, so let me bring it in again. So this is the way it would look. And then you open it like that. Now let me flip the camera again because I want to show you. If you were standing that up, if somebody was standing it up, it would look like this. Oh, 
Okay, how do you like that? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this card right now. And I will put all the descriptions and everything in there later. You love this one? Okay, so let's get started because I'm on the early shift today, so I don't want to cut anything off. All right, so the first thing you're going to start with is your card base, which, of course, is a half a sheet of cardstock. I'm using black, and fold it or and use your bone folder or your scoring tool on your trimmer. Then you're going to score it right down the middle. You can, again, use your trimmer, but for me, I'm just going to fold it because I think it's like two and an eighth if you use your uh, scoring blade. We're just going to go with this, and I'm just going to... Okay, so there's the first part of it. Then you're going to bring in, and I already cut these. I'm, I, the, I'll put the measurements in there. You're going to cut the designer series paper. You want three pieces. can be all the same, or it can be these were all the same, or it can be different ones, you know, like you can do it this way. But I want all the bats. And these are two inches by five and a half. Okay, let's see. This was... You can see where I cut them. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't need them to line up. All right, so let's do step by step. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is stamp and seal or your uh, Tombow, whichever you're using, and you're going to put those three pieces right on the flaps. Okay, backward flap pop-up card. <laughs> put the description later so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer those in they don't have to match up okay yes Angie 16 months till I retire you'll be seeing a lot more of me and you'll be retire from my day job you'll be seeing a lot of me okay so we're going to put that right there, right there. So you've got three pieces right there. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to, from your um, designer series paper, take another piece of designer series paper and just cut a square. If you're cutting the square, it is, I think this one is two inches. This is two by two, I think. But what I use to make it a little easier was the layering squares, okay? And let me grab the um, ruler right here so I can tell you, because these aren't numbered. I'm going to go back and number these. I used my layering squares, but you can just cut squares, okay? So this is two by two. That's what I thought. Okay, you got two by two. You need one of those. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer, and you're going to cut that diagonally. Okay, I'm going to cut that diagonally, and you get these two pieces. Now, I'm going to leave my paper trimmer here because I need it again. Okay, and then let me bring in my silicone mat because you really want to get these. Now, whatever size you want, whatever side you want, that's where you're going to put these. You're going to flip them over. And because I want to make sure I get the edges on this, I'm using my silicon mat. Two things you want to have. Well, actually, more than two. You want to have your tool there. You want to have your silicon mat. And you want to have um, your paper piercing mat. Okay. And we are going to... Let me put it this way so I can see. We're going to put those right in the corner. The silicone mat, you see where you didn't want the glue, it stays. Okay, and I'm using it because a little bit of it may go off. Okay. And then let me flip it around this way. Okay. And if you have any questions, comments, I will come back later and answer them. Please, under I'm, I, I love everybody, and I can't believe all the comments I'm getting, so I try to answer each and every one, just so you know that. Okay, so there's that should look like that. Then you're going to want two, two of these squares and two of these squares. Now, again, I'll give you the sizes, but I used the um, layering squares. Okay, so you need two 
of two and three quarter squares, and you need two of two and a half. Two by two and a half. Two and a half, two, 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 two and a half, and two, two and three quarters, okay? All right. So with this one, and I chose the gorgeous grape, you're just going to take that square and put it right in there. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to line it up to the point there and the point down. Okay. Now, we're going to take the white one, and we're going to layer that right on top. But before I do that, I'm going to grab my stamp. Now, this is the uh, Festive Corners. A little trick with this. If you're not using your Stamparatus, don't put this right in the corner of your block. Because you need this block, I think this is the D block, to stamp. But then sometimes you get ink here. So I kind of put it right in the middle or, you know, a little closer in the middle. You get less ink on your block. And I want Gorgeous Grape, not Blackberry Bliss. So let me grab my Gorgeous Grape. Now, again, this is a photopolymer stamp. So I want my mat, which is right here. I usually have mine covered so I don't get a lot of ink on it. Okay, so we're going to ink that up. And I'm just going to, I'm going to bring it down by me for a minute so I can stamp it. And I'm just going to turn it around and do the other corner. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a background. Okay. That's that piece. This piece is going to go right here. That paper cutter needs a new blade. Okay. So this I'm going to just use my stamp and seal. And I'm going to put that right in there. Okay. All right. So you see there's the first part of it. All right. Next part is I am going to grab that other piece. I'm going to score it right down the middle. So I'm going to take the other gorgeous grape and I am going to angle that. And I'm going to score it down the middle. I'm going to take the other piece of white and I'm going to cut it down the middle. Okay. Those two pieces I need right here. Okay, don't put that too far because I'm going to need that again. Bringing in this piece, okay, I'm going to fold that and burnish it. I already lost my paper, my, <laughs> my bone folder. Oh, well, I'll use my fingernail. It'll, it'll pop up here. Okay, once you fold that, you need to trim off just a little bit right here. So the way I did it, because there's no really measurement, is I put the crease at the three inch mark right here, and I just chopped off a little bit. So it should look like that, and that you want it to look like that. All right. This piece is gonna actually be inside here, but before we do that, we need to stamp. So I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna bring my black ink in, I need a piece of, this time I'm going to use the bats. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm going to try the bats. Um, I need a piece of do, 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 scrap paper. So let me grab that. Actually, I'll use the back of my pad here since I don't have my paper. There we go. We'll just use the back of this. All right. So I'm going to take that. Now remember, this is going to be this way, so... I'm going to take my bats. I'm going to ink those up in black. I don't know how much of the small one's going to show. So I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to take that, and I am just going to angle it. Maybe I'll do it this way. Do one there, and then I'm going to maybe get the little one. Let me ink that up and see if I can get just the part of that little one. Oh, I can. 
just like that. Okay, there we go. So I got that piece. Okay, so that's going to get glued right on top here. I love this. I love this fun fold. So I decided to call Friday Fun Fold Friday. Let's see how many fun folds I can come up with every Friday, right? I might run out of ideas. Okay, so we're going to take that. And I am going to just place that right in here. A little off center there. Let's see if I can pick it back up. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Samantha. Samantha, are you you didn't start working yet? Oh, that's right. It's not eight o'clock. Otherwise, I'd be working. Okay. This is just a little off centered, but we're gonna go with it. Okay. So you have this piece now. This has to be glued in here. The way I do it, because it's easier for you to see where you need it, you want this right up here, right? You want to be able to see the trick or treat. You're going to glue it right here, okay? I would use a something um, really sticky, Tombow or our new Stampin' Seal or our tear tape. I don't recommend the old snail because it's not going to be good. It's not going to be sticky enough. Okay, so you lay that right there. And I have to turn it because otherwise I'm going to have it crooked. Okay, so I'm going to lay it right here. And I am going to fold this up. Let me hold on to it here. I'm going to fold this up and press that down. Oh, thanks, Vicki. And then with this, I really, oh, there's my foam folder. I told you it would pick up, find its way back home. You really want to give it a good burnishing, okay? Don't worry about it if it's not standing up yet. So now when you close it, it looks like this. You see how that doesn't really fold back? It will. Okay. Now the next piece is you need two background pieces. You see that this one is, again, the layering squares. And I'm going, I need two of those. So real quick, here's the scalloped one that I used. I am going to bring in, of course, my new die cutting machine. And I am going to just cut another one for you. I had to at least use this once, right? Okay, so let's bring the new one in. There's my layer. Right. And then I need the number two. Remember, these are numbered. This is number one, number two, number three, my piece of cardstock, and then my die, and then another number three. And I got the handle on the other side, so this is going to be tricky. Hopefully, I don't get my hand in any uh, ink or hit the camera. You don't even hear this go through. It's like cutting butter. Okay. Let me just roll it all the way through. Yes, yeah, Stamper's Delight is all one word. Okay. I think a lot of times if you put it as two words, you can still find me. Some things that you have to split it up. Okay, so now I have these two pieces, right? So those two pieces, um, I cut out with the, again, the layering dies. Oh, let's see. And then I'm going to grab these two pieces of white. I already, whoop, did I already cut my white pieces? Tell me I didn't. I thought I did. Okay, I need two pieces of white. Give me one second, because I just had everything sitting here nice and... Okay. I should have a piece of white here, and I'm not sure where it went, so let's just grab another piece. There it is. Here's the white. Okay. So here's the white. Okay, and I need two, this is, these are about two inches, I think. 
Uh, it's one, uh, one and three quarters. So we need two of one by one. Okay. You can use again your layering dies, but if you don't have those, I'll show you how to do that if, using your paper trimmer. So this, that square right there was one and what did I say? One and three quarters. Yeah, one and three quarters. So we want one and a half with this. Let's do two of these. One and a half. I eyeball a lot of stuff, so sometimes it's hard for me to tell you the exact size. But with the layering uh, dies, it makes it so much easier. You need another coffee, okay. All right, so I'm bringing those in. And bring in the two white ones, which stuck on my thing there. All right. And they get layered right up here. All right, so let's bring in that paper again. And I'm going to use the bats again. So let's bring in my bats. Now, this is kind of large, so I want the small one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ink the small one up. If I get a little of the big one, that's okay. Now, these are going to be at an angle. And actually, it doesn't matter with the bats because bats fly all different ways, right? I'm just going to... Let's see. I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper just so I don't get everything all messy. We'll put him there. So there's two bats there. So what I'm doing is I'm just inking it up, just inking up this part because I just want the smaller bat. I'll move him up a little bit. Then I'm going to cover him up. So that's called masking. <laughs> and I'm just going to go with that. There we go. Now I got that bat. Okay, so then I'm going to glue these down. Put those right here. Got something sticky there, so let me put that paper right there. Okay, I'm going to bring that in. And I am going to... Let me grab another piece here all that writing okay I'm gonna bring those in and I'm gonna angle those right here just like that so you see the bat sticking out there so I'm gonna flip those over and you only want glue on half of that what do you think so far Now I'm going to show you what I did. That that die that I showed you, I already cut. That is right here. Okay, this is the other die, the smaller one. And I cut that in half so I can use that for this card. So I'm going to bring in the... I'm going to use this one. There's magic in this night. And I want to turn it this way. And I'm going to... Stamp that down. I used the gorgeous grape this time. And I'm going to put that right behind there. So I'm just going to bring it in and trim it. So the label die that comes with this, I cut in half. Make sense? Okay, so that I can use, it, use both pieces. And then I just tucked it between those tucked it right there so we're going to put a little snail right here or see I keep calling it snail stamp and seal we're going to put that right there now when I open it those two pieces this is why you got to do it real have it burnished real good though okay I got black ink all over my hands on okay so when you open it now that stands up it pops up 
Oh, thank you, Angie. What do you think? Okay, we're not done yet. We're going to bring in some of those great embellishments. And the cool thing about this is if you look, you've got blue, green, purple. I'm not going to use... Uh, I'm going to grab some of the purple ones. Okay. Whoop. Just put that. I'm just randomly put some of those. Okay. Actually, I'll just go with a bunch of iridescent ones. So I'm going to put one here, put one there, and get this out of my way. Okay. And there you have it. That's all that you do for the fun fold. Let me just flip the camera a minute so you can see again when you open it, it would sit like this. What do you think? I love this fun fold. You like that? All right. So let's see. I got a few extra minutes here. So let's try one more thing. Okay. On the fly. Here we go. Here's our cute little tins. And don't forget, I'll have um, still shots of all these cards. Okay. This is a cute little tin. You can fill it up with whatever you want. We used to save these Altoid mint uh, tins to use for this. All right, so let's grab whatever I have available here that will fit around that. That's not going to fit. So let's see what other... Got the bats. Oh, here's the other bat paper. How about let's do them bats? Okay, I'm going to cut a strip. I think I want this a little wider. So I'm going to cut it at two and a half inches. I haven't done this yet. This is on the fly. I'm do two and a half inches. Make what we call a little belly band. So this is the opening. So I'm just going to put this right here. See how much I need. Right about, okay, right about here. You can score it if you want, but you don't really have to. Okay, I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to bend that for a second. And you can use scissors or your paper trimmer. I'm just going to go with the scissors right now. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. Because I want to save as much as I can to use for something else. Ooh, this would be pretty too. Oh, candy favors for the shower. Yep, just came up with another idea. Okay, so that's the front. We're just going to put that right here. Now, I don't want it too tight because I want to be able to slide this out, right? Again, I recommend a, a really heavy-duty glue. <clears throat> Put a couple strips of that on there. The Stampin' Seal Plus would work great, too. Okay, so there's my belly band. All right? Okay, I'm going to bring in this beautiful... I love this. I love this ribbon. I'm just going to cut a piece of it off. You can give these out for special people for Halloween, but I'm just thinking I can, I got to order some more for um, bridal shower favors. I'm just going to tie that in half or tie that in a bow right there. Let's see. I'm going to bring in doo -doo -doo, my... I'm cheating. Let me just clean this. I'm going to bring in those. I can't even think what they are. Bats. <laughs> I just dropped it. Oh, only I could do this on a Friday morning. Okay. I'm rushing because now I want to get this done so I can finish. Okay, so we're just going to clean that off. I'm going to bring in Blackberry Bliss. Grab this piece of white. Bring in my dies. Here's the die for this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm just going to bring this in so I can cut it real quick.
Remember, I have it all layered up. You don't even hear that machine. There's my bats. Bring that back in. I got two little bats here. Could have cut those a little better, I guess. The other thing is I want to remind you that we do have black dimensionals. This this during Halloween, this is the best time to use these, but obviously Anytime you're using black, the uh, black dimensionals really come in handy. Let's see where I'm going to put that right here. So I don't, yeah, I can put one right there. I think I'm going to switch to the smaller ones. So don't forget about our black dimensionals. Love, love, love these, especially around Halloween. I'm going to put that one right there. Now this little one, you definitely need the smaller dimensionals. Everybody forgets about the black one. Jean, they don't, they don't, rec the cutting plates, yes, okay, Jean's asking if the plates work on the new machine, the cutting plates, yes, but remember, if you're using old stuff on the new machine, it could void the warranty, but you can use the new cutting plates on your old machine, okay, all right, so there we have that, look at that, can you see it, okay, now I'm going to grab a strip of white that I have back here, Just grab a piece. I always have strips around here. Grab the wider one. I'm going to grab Trick or Treat. I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss again. Yeah, Sarah, it is very quiet. So we're going to put Trick or Treat. I don't like the way that one came out, so I'm going to flip it over. Because I'm trying to do it in camera view. Sorry if you can't see me stamp the trick or treat, but I had to bring it down so I could see it. Okay. I'm going to bring in the little spider. And I think I'll use basic gray for that. Stamp it off once. Put it right behind the trick or treat. I'm just going to take my paper snips and snip that off. And then I'm just going to figure out where I want this. So I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, so I'm going to put some dimensionals on there. Probably two would be enough. I want to lift up the little wings here because I don't I want the wings to show. I'll lift him up and lay him right in there. And I have a cute little tin to fill with little treats to give out for Halloween. But don't just think Halloween. Like I said, I think I'm going to be using these for bridal showers. So I hope you enjoyed this Fun Fold Friday. I will have the description and the measurements in my, uh, in my description after I'm done with the video. Let me bring in the cards real quick to show you again. Okay, so the pop-up, fold-back pop-up card. Here it is with the spiders. And you see on the little spiders, I put the um, those doodads, those iridescent doodads on their little spider butts. Okay, of course we have the matching envelope. Oh, thank you, Janelle. We have the shaker card, which is, I know it's hard to see. There we go. We have the shaker card with the still scenes. Don't forget about that. We have a hot, happy Halloween with the glitter. Thank you, Stacy. You have a great weekend, too. Don't forget to share my videos, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube. I'm going to try to pop on. I have a birthday party to go dinner to do on Monday or go to on Monday night. I am still going to try to hop on YouTube. So if you follow me on YouTube, just press the bell and you'll be at this way. It'll tell you when I'm going to be on. Okay. 
There's another trick or treat. I just don't know what time we're going to get done with dinner. And it's for my aunt. Okay, here's invitation for the shower. Another invitation, maybe for a wedding. I think I would change up the colors a little bit. We have our candy bar, which now I can eat. <laughs> Listen, it's Dove dark chocolate under there. I'm eating this for breakfast. And then, of course, we have our little candle. I really hope you enjoyed this segment of Fun Fold Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share my videos. Don't forget my online retreat and my August online class. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will see you back here next Friday morning at 7 a.m. Keep on stamping, stamping.